Well, uh, we, we are here in Saint-Imier, in, uh, in this place when uh, there has been the first, uh, perhaps the first uh, international anarchist congress in 1872, but um, the year before uh, there was uh, a meeting of uh, Italian and internationalists in uh, in Rimini, and uh, they stated the same things that, uh, as in Saint-Imier next, the year after. And so anarchism in Italy has a very long, very long uh, story. They began as internationalists, but uh, they soon began anti-authoritarian socialists and then uh, anarchists. And, uh, 1981, uh, if I if I well remember, uh, Malatesta and other Italian anarchists uh, founded the, the socialist uh, socialist anarchist uh, party. Which is a word that is not so <laughs> that anarchists don't don't not enjoy so much, but it was a word that they used party, and uh, it's been a, a long story. People's uh, uh, part of the working working class um, people linked to the to the Italian Italian peasants uh, with. Uh, a lot of uh, insurrectionist uh, attempts against the the, uh, the young uh, Italian Italian state, and uh, in the first years of the uh, the twentieth centuries, uh, there there was a there were very strong struggles in the first industrial towns in the north of Italy. Anarchists built the uh, workers' councils in the in the firms, and uh, it was very a very special period crushed by by fascism. And uh, in that period, um, uh, they um, formed the Italian Anarchist Communist Union, and many anarchists were involved in the. Uh, the uh, Syndicalist Confederation, CGIL, and uh, many others in the Revolutionary Syndicalist Confederation, which was the USI, Unione Sindacale uh, Italiana. After the fascism, there was a, re a new rebirth of the movement, and uh, in 1945, the uh, Italian Anarchist Federation was born, and there were hundreds of anarchists inside this federation, coming from the partisan resistance against uh, Nazis and, uh, and fascists, and uh, they were very strong inside the Union, the Union too. But um, in the next decades, in the 50s and in the 60s, um, they lost many, many comrades, many, many workers, and uh, anarchism uh, became weaker than the decades um, before. Um, so, when 1968 uh, burst, anarchists were not prepared to uh, to such event. And uh, despite of the anti-authoritarian uh, struggles in university and the schools, uh, and in 1969 workplaces uh, too, they were not prepared. And but the struggles were completely anti-authoritarian, completely libertarian. That was a period where uh, uh, many young anarchists, many young people many young students, many young workers discovered anarchism and uh, I am one, one of them and uh, 
because of the incapacity of anarchist Italian Federation to, to do something good in these struggles, we rediscovered uh, an, old docu an old document uh, from the 1926, the General, uh, General Union Platform of Anarchist Communists uh, written by uh, Russian people in Paris in, uh, in the 20s, people like Nestor Makhno, uh, Ida Met, uh, and the poor uh, Piotr Archinov who uh, uh, went back to, to Russia and uh, was killed by the Stalinists. And uh, in the 70s, these this young anarchists uh, were very were, were involved uh, in uh, all the, the social struggles and uh, the union struggles uh, and they really they became a and a little but uh, very very important force uh, inside the the position the position movement in, uh, in Italy Many regional organizations were born in, in those years, and uh, some some of them were the the grandmothers of the current FD FDCA the organization uh, which I belong to. And uh, well, in the 80s and uh, in the 90s, uh, Italian anarchism has been able to. To improve their its presence uh, inside the social movement, uh, inside the uh, uh, no global movement, uh, yeah, from the end of 19th to the beginning of the of this century, and uh, many relevant uh, militants of the Italian. Anarchist movement as uh, Enrico Malatesta, as Luigi Fabri, as uh, Camillo Berneri uh, are in our, in our memory and uh, in our tradition and uh, we still now we learn a lot of uh, important lessons from, from, from them and from uh, things they they wrote one century and more ago. Uh,